He is a great kid. Um, he's smart, he's active. Heidi McComb says her nine-year-old son Zane has always loved school. Situation in the past few weeks. But something changed for this straight A student soon after the third grade started. He started um, complaining about stomach aches every morning and not wanting to go to school. Worried about what was going on with her son, it finally clicked. Well, I said, are you worried about not passing the third grade? And a little tear just kind of came down his eye and he shook his head, yes. Nervous, but I'm afraid I'm not gonna pass. Quite frankly, it angered me, you know. Here, the bully in my child's life is the school system. This is not about intelligence. This is about learning a lifelong skill. The State Department of Education says 36% of Oklahoma's third graders read below grade level, and they're not ready to move on to fourth grade. State Superintendent Janet Barisi said something has to change. Children stop learning how to read and start reading to learn in fourth grade. We've got to have them ready for that critical fourth grade, or they're going to continue to fall further behind. Barisi believes the Reading Sufficiency Act is giving students a leg up on learning. Carrots and strawberries. If you give a date certain that something has to be achieved, we're finding that districts are beginning to organize themselves around this. Sometimes I worry that we're testing more than we're instructing. Dr. Paulette Schreck, a longtime UCO early childhood education professor, disagrees with the new law. Legislation is deciding a child is retained rather than the professional teacher. These words tell what the group is all about. We never make a major decision uh, that's going to impact a child's life based on one test. Heidi thinks the work students do all year long should dictate whether or not they move on. I don't mind that they're standardized tests, but I don't think there should be that stigma on if you don't test well, you don't go to the next grade. Barisi says focusing on reading will not only help our children succeed now, but in the future. We think we're going to cut high school dropouts, cut enrollment in special education, uh, increase literacy in this state, and really enable our kids to reach their potential academically.